We have looked from so many different angles to understand the law so far. Have we made our case? <laughs> it seems not yet. To prove a point and to wrestle with some arguments out there against keeping the law, this week we are looking at the apostles of Jesus Christ and what they stood for. We all connect to things differently. Different things make impression on us. From the same book, the same speech, the same events or movie, we can all find our own things to like or dislike. The apostles were different too. Different personalities. They all had their own experiences. So it will be interesting to see how they expressed what they got from Christ about the law. The lesson is focusing on Paul, Peter, John, James and Jude. Wow, what a rainbow of characters! Let's take Paul. Paul sounds confusing. He is all about being justified by faith. But does this nullify the law? Not at all. Paul is the most controversial, but he is dealing with so many issues, it's normal. He is bringing a message to Greeks, Romans, Jews and many other nationalities and cultures. They all have different points of reference. But if we take it all together, the message is clear and it's what we have been talking all along this quarter. Peter was clearly still living the Jewish tradition. Interestingly, we never read in the Acts of the Apostles or anywhere else that any of them participated in the Passover after Jesus died, an event that was repeatedly reported in the Gospels before Jesus' death. Makes me think that the Apostles were clear on what part of the law was done with and what not. John. John was the closest to Jesus. Hmm. How did he see the topic about the law? John saw the faithful relationship between Jesus and his father. Hmm. And he saw that Jesus' attitude toward the law was a, a natural expression of his character. And obeying the commandments was true love for God. Hmm. I love how he puts it in words. Mm -hmm. We know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not do what he commands, is a liar, and the truth is not in that person. But if anyone obeys his word, love for God is truly made complete in them. This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. Not very sophisticated theology, but very practical. What a perspective! James. I like James. He sounds like a straightforward guy. If you have faith, show me your works. Very strong defender of the law. If you stumble just on one point from the law and you kept all the rest, you are guilty of breaking all of it. Pretty strict, huh? Amazing! Use James to beat Paul. <laughs> At least this is what some are saying. At the end, the lesson is focusing on Jude. Not a well-known figure, but believed to be a brother of Jesus. <laughs> it's interesting to see his perspective. His focus is on freedom and responsibility. Reminding his audience that God liberated Israel from Egypt, but when they went away from him, they faced terrible consequences. Very interesting context about the law. Freedom, grace, gospel, do they eliminate responsibility? These were the apostles. What is your perspective?